Hi guys, I just wanted to show you Blue Iris. Uh, it's a uh, software that's available for about forty dollars to help you control and record from security cameras. Uh, it's well worth the money, I think. The, the cameras themselves, I bought through Foxcam for about a hundred dollars a piece. Um, the cameras are Wi-Fi, so you don't have to run your coax cable throughout the house or, or anything like that. Um, I did have to buy a Wi-Fi repeater to boost the strength of my Wi-Fi signal throughout the house, but uh, that was about 40 bucks. Uh, so what I wanted to show you real quick is is the interface. This is uh, the free interface. You can buy uh, a client through the App Store uh, for iPads and, and Mac, um, but this is available through any browser. Uh, including on my iPad and on my Android phone. This is the interface that I'd be looking at. And from here, you can see I can look at all four cameras at once. Click. Um, I can pan through the individual cameras. This is in real time. You see the timestamp there on the bottom. And uh, from this panel also, I, c I can operate the camera. I can control the pan. I can move it around. Uh, if I'm looking for something specifically. I've used this actually, um, I have left the house and couldn't remember if the garage door was shut. I pulled up the garage cam and panned it around to take a look. Uh, <clears throat> so one of the cool things about it is uh, I've got this Blue Iris server running. Uh, I've hidden it somewhere in my house, I'm not going to tell you where. And it's continuously recording live data from the cameras and when it detects motion on one of the cameras it starts recording video to the disk and I've got it configured so that as it records motion detected video it also pushes it to a cloud device that I own so that data is available to me on the cloud from anywhere uh, including my phone um, so this is the kind of data uh, you see here down at the left. This is the data that, that it's recorded through motion detection. And uh, you can click on it and just play it. Uh, and this isn't as smooth as what you see on the Blue Iris server because this is just dumping JPEG uh, still shots from the, from the video. Uh, that looks like my daughter going to school this morning. Um, there's an infrared camera. This, you see the color of the car there's a little bit off. I think that's got some infrared camera. It's, it's looks like real early in the morning trying to figure out quite uh, if it's, if it's uh, the color or infrared, I'm not sure. Um, there we go, here's infrared. So there's my wife in the garage. She turns the light on and it jumps to the color uh, sensors. This is, looks like maybe me taking my, nope, that's my wife again. Uh, that's me taking my dog out last night. Um, and the, the other thing you're not seeing on here is uh, uh, that it is recording audio along with this video. That's me outside. It detected me through the door. Uh, sorry, Susan. And let's see. I wanted to, there's some good uh, infrared. You see my son coming into the garage. Uh, so that's about it. I just wanted to show the capabilities of Blue Iris. It's really pretty powerful and for uh, pretty cheap you can put together your own security camera setup. Um, you do need a, a machine dedicated to be running Blue Iris. Uh, for me it's not a problem. I've got more computers than I know what to do with. Uh, and I also would recommend having some kind of external uh, backup system that the video can be pushed to. Uh, the last thing you want is for somebody to break into your house and then steal the computer that was recording all of the security camera stuff that doesn't do you any good at all. So um, that's about it. Hopefully uh, this will help somebody.